Good morning ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Melbourne Airport and we're here to go to Japan today and we're inside the brand new American Express lounge in Melbourne and it's really nice and quiet there's not really many people here and the furniture is very nice so Teresa's with me, she's just disappeared for a bit I'm very excited, we got up very very early to get here on time I think I woke up at 5am or something, I'm super tired but yeah, Japan And basically I fumbled around at the ticket machine and bought these two tickets for us. Um, I can't read Japanese, so I think they're correct, but... Uh... store visit before we go back. <gasps> Look at all the hair products! And finally a stop to the convenience store. Look how much food there is. Look at this. Look at this. Much free. Wow. wow. Look at this pink asahi. And all of these things that you can't buy anywhere else. Oh. You can just buy the salmon and put it in the microwave and it becomes and you can just eat breakfast like that. You can just buy alcohol directly from the convenience store because that's that's what you do. You buy alcohol from the convenience store. I really wish they sold this in Perth. One litre version of UCC Black. Come on. Anyway, that's gonna be the end of my first day in Japan. It's still quite tired and we're just buying small fish. It's not really that interesting, but tomorrow we're going to Yokohama and we're gonna see Kuniko Kansi in Good morning, Trace. Where are you going? Where are you going? Trace thinks she blends in with the Japanese people. Hurrying to work. You hurry to work. I'm on side. See, real Japanese people don't take pamphlets. <laughs> okay, so we're at Shinjuku Station now. It's a little bit less busy than it was last night. Last night at 10 o'clock, this place was packed. But today we're going to Yokohama, which requires us to go on one of these trains all the way down. It's gonna take 45 minutes, which is why we bought convenience store. <laughs> Yokohama with Kuniko and Andy. You remember Kuniko and Andy when they saw koalas and stuff with us? Well, now we're in their uh, neck of the woods, and this is Yokohama. Those are all the like, adult services. Adult what? Adult services? Ah. Oh. 
How wonderful! <laughs> <laughs> this whole thing is... Oh, okay. We won't need any of that. <laughs> the sign, the black sign. Yeah. Don Quixote. Oh, Don Quixote! Yeah, that's I uh, love Don Quixote. It's a huge one, so we, we, we can speak oh, and check out. We need to go to Don Quixote. Definitely, it looks like a shopping mall. Oh, is this the Children's Day decoration? Yeah, yeah that's right. For the fish? Uh, May 5th. Mmm. Children. Look at all the clothes. Namco. Donkey! This is my favorite store in Japan. It sells everything that you could ever possibly want, Especially including yeah, drugs. And this is a restaurant dedicated to Katsu. Look at this, look at this, look at this. <laughs> That's what dreams are made of. Oh, look at this Katsu, look at this. Oh, oh, oh. Wow. Amazing. Uh, mustard. 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 Mm. Japanese mustard. And they give you free pickles. Mm. Which is good. That was really, really good. And look at that. And now we're going to take a taiko lesson. Okay, so we're about to start our first taiko class. Uh, I've got my badge. This is my name in Kalikana. Adam Taiko Gear. I don't know where to start with any of this. But, um, supposed to be the best in Japan. Yeah, we're taking like a social level taiko class, so they're supposed to be just like casual, but I'm quite scared. Japanese is... Ah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. How many, look how many they have. I'm quite nervous for this class. Are you nervous? <laughs> You're totally not prepared for this at all. <laughs> It's okay, this is supposed to be a casual class, right? your arms too after that. <laughs> that was nuts. That was nuts. <laughs> so this is what we learned today at Hibikasu in Yokohama and it's mostly like quavers and stuff but of course it's taiko so it's quite physical. So yeah and then we couldn't read any of this but I think this says intro. <laughs> and then this is so cool. Real taiko drums not the Taiwanese stuff in Perth. <laughs> So anyway, we just finished the class and it was mental. My arms are really sore, but now I really want to buy some merch. But then Andy already went ahead and bought us some t-shirts. Isn't he just great? And this was our, I think, this was our class, maybe? And I think this is like beginner level. So yeah, it was still pretty tough even though it's beginner level. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, I'm fairly sure. Wow! Hibikasu Yokohama. Hibikasu Yokohama sells the best Taiko stuff, and apparently there's another one in Asakusa as well. So, oh, this is our teacher over here. Nice guy. I don't know how you pronounce his name in Japanese, but in Chinese it's Zheng Suo Xianzheng. We got a lot of brochures here, and oh, who's this? Who's this? Who's this? Oh, amazing place. This street is amazing. Look how beautiful it is. So, it, this street, if you walk all the way down, goes to the water in Yokohama. And yeah, I think it's really nice being here instead of in crowded Tokyo for just one day. And apparently, this is uh, wow, <laughs> it's so big. This is uh, Andy's favorite cafe, and it's called Goose. Wow. Okay. So I don't want the drinks self-serve. Yeah, yeah. Wow. That's cool. Goose. So nice. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> it's really good. Self-serve. And they already work. got acid. Oh. Well, self-serve. Adam, is it the first time for you to eat the melon pan? Yes. Uh, I've always heard about it, but yeah, I never this tried. This is actually very popular nowadays. Mm. What is inside here? Kinako. Kinako, right? 
melon pan. Mm. I'm going to eat the most authentic Japanese mochi. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Then, then there is a red bean paste. Oh, come on. <laughs> How's your bun? I'm never tasted melon in my life. Too sure there. And you changed my life. <laughs> Take the dairy. Look mm. at that filling. Mmm. Okay, so thanks Andy for bringing us to that cafe. But now we're in Yokohama Chinatown. Look at this. I've seen videos of this online. It's one of the most famous Japanese Chinatowns. And of course all the food is Chinese. I mean look, you got you got the um uh, and then oh, yeah. sesame bowl. <laughs> it's a kiss of chocolate. Okay, I think this is like one of the <laughs> dice. Wow. This is so cute. Okay, there's a lot of food in this shop. And each food has a plastic cutout of what your food looks like when you buy it. Love, I love oh. this cake. So many layers, it's like quite mm. lapis on steroids. So um, this is supposed to be Shanghai Sheng Jian Bao, but it looks nothing like actual Chinese food. I think this is again the Japanese sort of fusion because there's like vermicelli inside this. Okay! Okay, now we found this street, which is just absolutely packed! This is nuts! What bao? I think this is the literal definition of Thai Saka. <laughs> what is that? It's just this massive, massive, massive building at the end of this alleyway. So it's quite a culture shock to be in Japan and hearing so much Mandarin and Chinese. Oh, hello. <laughs> We've reached this shopping street that looks kind of like... This is a really good day for this street. Look at it. And it goes on for ages. Beautiful. Oh, if you can't afford to go to Europe, you can always go to, to uh, Yokohama to come to this street, which looks honestly exactly like something out of the UK. This is nuts. This is the cheap snack shop, Kashino Mashioka, which sells lots of snacks, like all the Japanese snacks, for very low prices. This is my favorite. This is my favorite. What is it? Um, Gangan Okay. I'm sweet and jelly. Mm. Do you like some flowers? Yes, okay. Oh, what? <laughs> it's a lot of. Oh, they're quite cheap as well. Okay, sure. Wow. Look at this. This is like super, super traditional. This is very nice. Wow. Mm, this one is also kind of, uh, we, we call it aburi. Oh, aburi. The blowtorch. Yes, yes, yeah. that's right. Mm. Is it raw chicken? No, no, no. Is, is it chicken? Yeah, or? it's a chicken. Oh, wow. Mm. Raw, cooked? Mm, it's a half cooked. That's right, why perfect. its shape is now like a yes. really, like a rigid like a square. Mm. Oh, you cannot eat edamame too? Please. I cannot eat what? I, I really wish you could have some edamame. This is good. Okay, right? okay, okay. okay. okay can, I, can I just try have it? A bit, have I, a bit. I think I won't die. Have a bit. Okay. It's not that the soy is not the. How good is that? <laughs> How good is that tofu? Mm. That's nuts. It's, it's really tasty. That's so. Like, it's so not it's firm really or soft yeah. either. Yeah. That is the best tofu I've ever had in my life. Yeah, yeah. Normally, the tofu that we can buy in outside of Japan is too palm or it's a too. Mm -hmm. just like a, it's not really a tofu. It's just a square white piece. White piece. <laughs> the bone just comes off. Mm. Oh, it's all made. You just want to be cautious about this side and there's some mm. bones. Oh. Mm. Wow. Oh. The oil is coming yeah. out. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm a little bit loud when I mm. drink alcohol. It's okay. The fish is really cool. Okay, let's try it. But I can already tell it's going to be super, super. Mm. Oh, come on. 
There's so much flavor. I've been craving for grilled fish since this afternoon. Oh, really? Mm. Good. Yeah, there's some bones, but then I don't think it will be such a big bone. Yeah, it's better than the fish that my mom cooks. Sorry, mom. Oh, <laughs> oh. And the breast. Breast, leg, and minced chicken. Then the wow. egg is normally um, you know, you on the side, is it? Mm. Even got tempura some more. Okay, you go. Ahead. <laughs> and this is the famous Soba. Mm, soba, ne? What an amazing venue. It's called this, okay? I can't read it, but that's what it's called. <laughs> oh. And this is outside. Look at this. What a beautiful setting. What a beautiful restaurant. It's so full. Open! Alright, finally. Get to go into Don Quixote. Okay, this is nuts. Have you ever seen so much mixed things in one shop? Alright guys, we're at the train station now. Just said bye to Andy and Kuniko, who took us around Yokohama for the whole day. So they were very, very nice to us and we won't be coming back to Yokohama anymore. Which is kind of sad, but... I'll see you guys tomorrow for the next day of the vlog. Let's go back! Bye! Good night!